have brought in a panel of people who fit squarely into this generation that we would love to ask some questions of, maybe bounce some ideas off of based on these insights, get some questions from you guys, um, and see where we end up. So with that, if you could please give a warm uh, round of applause. Here. So the first thing I just want to ask a few of the panelists, um, Jeffrey and Bridget, you're our youngest panelists. You guys are both 10. What are 10 year olds typically into these days? And you can both answer. I want to sort of compare your answers. Um, Bridget, you can start. Speak right into the mic. Um, <laughs> I really don't know. That's all right, because I know what you're in, into. What about you, Jeffrey? Um, at least for the boys, sports. Very good. Now I'm going to ask. Audrey at the end. 13 year old. 13 year old that took these days. Social media mm -hmm. and um, a lot of people, at least in my school, are really into drama. Drama. That's interesting. You guys don't go to school together, but Caitlin's very into drama. Very good. All right, I'm going to ask Holden a question. Sit in, seated in the middle there. Um, this is kind of a hard question, but is there kind of a popular crowd at school, like the in crowd? Well, you could sort of say that pretty much anybody who pretty much plays a sport in the in crowd or can really talk, like, can say your mom jokes. <laughs> well, your mom jokes. <laughs> Generationally agnostic. Right? <laughs> and the sporting thing, too, that's funny. Do you know any of your mama jokes? Yes. Oh! Audrey, right, question for you. How do you stay in touch with your friends? Um, cell phones and like Instagram, you're always like connected. I don't have a Facebook personally, but a lot of people do. And just texting in general. So you don't have a Facebook because you're too young? No, I, I, I am, but I just don't like listening to other people complain about their lives. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people do have Facebook. Yeah, it's interesting you said the Facebook. I thought we weren't supposed to do that. See, I'm, I'm listening, I'm learning here. Um, but tell me about how you use Instagram to communicate with your friends. Well, like if you post a picture and like people can like comment on it or like, you know, like hey, I was there too yesterday. So you're using pictures with words in them to communicate, yeah. which is an interesting way to use Instagram being a picture sort of thing, right? So you're kind of using it in a similar way that Facebook, but in your own way. And did you guys come up with that on your own? Like, how did you, how do you know to use it in that way? People have made apps. Like, Versagram, you can just write stuff and then, like, post it directly to Instagram. And then, like, you can just take screenshots if you have an iPhone with, like, a notepad. So how do you know how to do that? That's awesome. That's very cool. Caitlin, how do you stay in touch with your friends? Oh, I don't like mine. Okay, I'll just talk really loud. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, we usually use Google Plus for everything because it works. But like, honestly, at Google Plus, people just do it because they don't want to do their homework. Because homework is annoying. And Google Plus, there's other people, and they're always there. There's always someone on Google Plus. These people, some people are really annoying. They're just posting what she was saying with like how terrible their lives are. Most people do like funny videos or like funny things or just totally random or like the people that are really annoying that post all the time just post like hi and like some people just post blank posts to make a statement just be like I have nothing to say. It's, it's very random. So do you follow just your friends or other people also? Um, I follow everybody. Basically like everybody in my school that I know I don't know them, then I don't follow them and probably block them. But like my friends or people that even if like I have friends that are friends with them, I'll friend them anyway. Mm -hmm.